This is a circuit that I built uh, used to primarily program my ATmega328P, but um, to test it out, I built some additional circuits just to kind of make sure the code worked. So I've got my ATmega328, that's the external clock source, my 16 megahertz oscillator. I've got two uh, shift registers here that are pushing 8 bits a piece to my 7 segment LED. To the right over here I've got a 5 volt power circuit with the power regulator here, 9 volts input. And then down here is what's called a, a RS-232 shifter circuit. Um, basically what it does is it takes the regular standard 232 protocol and translates it to TTL, which is the uh, serial communication that the microcontroller will use. It interfaces between the PC and the microcontroller to send and receive data. So we're going to program the ATmega328, this chip here, with my Arduino Uno that I've got hooked up via USB cable. Uh, I'm going to push a compiled uh, script, pre-compiled script, to the ATmega328 through the Arduino using AVR Dude. Uh, up here I've got some LEDs that are indicator lights for the AVR ISP interface that's the Arduino Uno. Uh, you can see the pulsing green light. That light just indicates everything's ready. There's a red LED to the right of it, and then to the right of that there's a yellow LED that indicates the data transfer. So I'm going to show you command line. We'll push the compiled script to the ATmega328 and it'll change the function of this circuit here. Currently we're just counting sequentially, but I've got a temp sensor right here. So the ATmega is going to sample the analog input from the temp sensor, basically reading the resistance um, that the temp, sen tensor, temp sensor will output and then display that resistance using code to the seven segment uh, showing dis uh, the Fahrenheit and Celsius. So you see here I've got my command prompt up. So let's send it my script. So my script name, there we go. Display, temp display seven segment. So let me go ahead and send this. And you can see I've started to send. You can see over here my little yellow light indicating the data transfer. And just about finished sending. Okay, it's done sending. There we go. Got things up and running with the temp script. So now what we can do is we can disconnect the Arduino. This is my reset pin right here. I've got connected to the Arduino. So if I disconnect this, the ATmega328 is going to go into reset. It needs to be pinned high. So I'll go ahead and pull this out. Oh, it must be receiving power from somewhere else. Oh, I think so. I got it grounded down here. Oh, no, it's because I have power applied to here. Ha! <laughs> nope, okay. So I must have power somewhere else. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and pin it high. So now, you can see we've got the Arduino Uno disconnected. Uh, you can hit the, the reset here, which will reset the ATmega328. Let it go. Starts the script over again. Uh, we'll look at the serial connection now. And you can see here, the ATmega328 is displaying those same values via serial connection to the PC. That's it. Thanks.